Interacting with animals has been shown to decrease cortisol levels, a stress-related hormone, and lower blood pressure. Other studies have found that animals can reduce loneliness, increase feelings of social support, and boost your mood. People today obviously have no idea what pond and stream ecosystems are like in their natural state. Since research in the field only began after beavers were taken out of the picture, says Numai, cases of animals never cease to amaze people with unexpected plots, twists, and curious situations. Sometimes something happens that is impossible to believe without documentary evidence. Growing beaver populations have created a large number of new habitats along rivers and ponds. Beaver dams raise the water level, enabling the dissolution of the organic carbon from the soil. From beaver ponds, carbon is released into the atmosphere. Part of the carbon settles down on the bottom, ending up used by plants or transported downstream in the water. They like apples. They're intelligent. When they want to walk long distances on a hard surface, such as roads, they often do so on their hind legs. Two-footed as humans, a girl watched a family of beavers spray her dog with their tails. One by one, they each took turns spraying the dog, who was standing in their house barking and going nuts as if they had humor. The beavers took turns swimming towards the large Malamute husky, then turned at the last minute and, with their broad tails slapping the water hard, sent a jet spray into the dog's face. It was like a sport for them. Today, their population is vast because of conservation and quota trapping because of their large population. The biggest market for beaver hides is Stetson hats. Their fur is turned into felt for the hats. This is how the fur trade originally started, with the Hudson's Bay Company using beaver felt for stylist hats and good long-wearing hats. To keep beavers from washing out roads, the beavers will incorporate a road raised above the rounding landscape as part of their own dams. You can use scarecrows to keep beavers from damming up culverts and bridges. But once they learn that the scarecrow is not real, they'll use it in their dam. Beaver-proof channels should be used in Beaver County. Beavers spend much of their time in the lodge grooming. They carefully clean their fur and apply waterproofing secretions from their anal glands. These oils are used in cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. Ungroomed fur is a death sentence in the cold water. Beavers' teeth grow continuously. If they don't chew wood to wear them down, they will overgrow to the extent that they will be unable to eat correctly and starve. In winter, the only place to breathe is inside the lodge when the pond is covered in ice. Above the water level, their entrances are underwater. The beavers swim out under the ice to retrieve any tasty branches stuck in the pond, mud bottom, lily roots, etc. Then they eat them in the comfort of their lodge. The world's largest beaver dam stretches a half mile long and sits in swampland in a remote area of the Wood Buffalo National Park in northern Alberta, Canada. No human had ever visited the site until Rob Mark came along with Explorer, first to reach the world's largest beaver dam. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. At times, providence itself works with the paws of animals, proving to people the frailty of their values and aspirations. Several years ago, Greensburg, Pennsylvania was rocked by a daring casino robbery. The bandits worked professionally. The girl working in the establishment turned off the alarm. The robbers took about $70,000 in their bags. Then they drove out of the city and hid the loot where no one would look for it in the dense coastal thickets. When the hype died down, the criminals expected to return for the money. But life didn't go according to their plan. The police managed to find the trail of the criminal group. First, they went to the employee, then to their accomplices who took the money directly. Everyone confessed to the crime and said where they had hidden the bags. When the police found the Forest River, they found the first bag almost immediately. They had to go deeper into the thicket to find the second bag, but the third one was nowhere to be found. The criminals explained again that they had left all the bags next to each other and had not returned to them. Then the guards decided to go up the coast a little higher. They discovered a beaver dam by a windbreak of old trunks and branches. Coming closer, the police noticed interspersed green dollars among the external chaos of the building of the animal's household. 
Beavers quite unexpectedly found high-quality construction material near their construction site. They apparently tested the new material for strength and discovered its lightness and large amount. Then they got down to business. The green papers perfectly secured to the dam and came up as an insulating material for the inner surface of the hut. The beavers did not even suspect how valuable their house turned out to be, how much they reduced the budget of a respectable institution. The casino management was pleased with the find. The guards had to deal with the destruction of the beaver buildings, which were created with such diligence. The police walked along the dam and took banknotes from various places. The banknotes, of course, got wet, but after drying, they got quite a nice look, and they could be used for their intended purpose. The beavers suffered the most. A funny story for people brought a lot of trouble to the animals and severe destruction of their established habitat. The dam was severely damaged, and they had to rebuild it practically from scratch. The construction budget this time turned out to be much more modest, but people did not apply for the construction. If practical animals knew how attached a person is to these green pieces of paper, they would leave them intact. But they would not consider a human to be the king of nature. It's a shame that we are ready to destroy nature for our own benefit. In addition, sometimes humans use animals for their own benefits. Two men who roamed the Indian capital using monkeys to rob unsuspecting victims have been arrested, New Delhi police said Saturday. The pair were apprehended after one victim complained to officers that three men carrying monkeys had surrounded and robbed him of $6,000, a local police official told AFP. Authorities across India have been grappling with the menace posed by monkeys in Delhi and other populated cities, where they often enter homes searching for food. But it's illegal for Indians to capture them under law. The official said that when the victim was sitting in an auto rickshaw, the men also entered the vehicle and asked one monkey to sit on the front seat and another at the back. They took the money the lawyer had in his wallet and fled with the monkeys. Police suspected the gang was behind similar thefts, and officers set up a dedicated team to track down the culprits, who were arrested Thursday at a bus stop, along with their animal accomplices. The third thief is still at large while the monkeys have been sent to an animal rescue center. Monkeys are often trained as street performers in India, and incidents of them attacking residents are not uncommon. Last year, a troop of monkeys attacked a medical official and snatched blood samples of patients who had tested positive for coronavirus in Meerut City in northern India. Sometimes, but certainly not always, a flying monkey can be a well-meaning, non-narcissistic friend who was manipulated by a selfish person. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.